Hi and welcome to the shop. Today we're using the power of Thor to strike lightnings in wood. Alrighty, power of Thor might be a bit too much, but it really doesn't matter what the name of your electricity supplier might be. We converting or we building a little machine that converts grid power to high voltage and be aware if you do not know how to treat high voltage if you do not know how to work with grid power please leave it then it would be freaking dangerous because 2000 volt um, yeah volts that can easily kill you so be aware of that other than that i show you what i have done here and how easy it is and you can decide if this is cool or something for you or not this now is the machine I produced 2000 volts with and that's a very easy machine. So basically it's one part. It's a microwave oven transformer. So every microwave, if you scavenge it, um, has this kind of part. And I connected the primary end, that's the wire with a, a thicker wire with a fewer windings to grid. No switch in here because I don't want to have a switch that might fail or is accidentally triggered so if I have to do something I really unplug it that's that's basically the thing that I'm doing with that cable and then you have the secondary end that's the end with the more windings but the thinner wire that produces 2000 volts and I took some of these cables from my Benchtalk power supply they are very flexible and silicon uh, coated cables that's perfect because they do not burn that easy um, and yeah, if you connect that to the wood, then you can burn it. We need an electrolyte, I'll show you in a minute. And then I use this yeah, copper plates just to, as, as a contact to have it, yeah, a better connection to the wood than with this little alligator clips. That's basically everything. I show you the rest in a minute. It is stupid simple and very, very nice projects you can build with that. First step make a coffee that's important second step we mix our electrolyte if you like to so this is baking soda i take 50 grams to roughly 100 milliliter of water this is the mixture you need bring it onto the wood and let it sit for a moment. And then we're attaching the clamps. And that's pretty much everything. And next step is go well away from that and switch it on. So the first piece of wood was beech wood and this one is now a piece of pine and what I found out is that um, it doesn't matter if it is this piece of pine or a different one it takes longer and the structure is yeah it's very very random as the wood is so if you have a finer grain you get a finer kind of lightning figure and if it is very rough or yeah as it is in this case it's a glued together piece of wood so yeah it's it's not so good predictable how the result will be and the burn marks are much deeper so that's nice if you want to fill it up with with kind of resin or so but um, yeah the harder the wood in my experience the better the finer the results are
As you can see here, the softer wood on the left side produces totally different results than the harder wood on the right side. So if you want to use this kind of treatment for projects, please make sure that you test your wood well in advance. Talking about projects, this both boards I will use to produce nice and very easy serving trays for the table to arrange food and stuff. So yeah, this is one of the next projects. Make sure that you do not miss them. Click the notification bell and if you like to, you can follow me on Instagram as well. I hope I see you next time around here. Happy crafting.